So whenever I'm whenever I'm ready. Sure, man. Sure. Let's uh, let's see what you got. Uh, okay. I'm Zach Selwyn. Today, three artisanal pickle makers, one competition, a fifty thousand dollar grand prize. Join us on History Channel to uncover which of these pickle artists is kind of a big dill on a new episode of American Pickle. Great. That's great. Yeah? I mean, yeah, yeah, it's fine. I okay. Mean, yes, you can do this in your sleep. I'll submit you, but I just want you to know the, the breakdown we got from the network is um, the Blispasian. Blispasian? What, what is that exactly? You know, like ethnically ambiguous. Uh, they don't want to go white. Well, I'm actually not white. I'm actually... I'm Jewish, if that matters. I'm sorry, I still wait. I mean, come on, Todd, you know I need this gig, man. I haven't worked in forever. I gotta get my kids and family health insurance and all that. Can you pull some strings or something? I, I understand, I just, you know, if I would say anything. Yeah. Lose the man book. I mean, it's, I can cut it. Like yesterday. Got it, yeah, okay. And uh, hang in there, buddy, you do great work. Yeah, I did the pickle prop, that was my, the pickle prop was my idea. Yeah, all right. Thanks for the opportunity, man. Okay, all yeah. right, later. Bye. In America, health insurance is practically unaffordable. Now, in Hollywood, actors who are just like me have to earn a certain amount of money in the Screen Actors Guild by working on Screen Actors Guild projects. For me, I have to earn $17,690 a year to keep my health insurance. Now, every year, the amount you have to earn to get the insurance goes up. So every actor I know is constantly trying to get the bare minimum just to keep their Screen Actors Guild health insurance. Can we stop with the leaf blower, please? I mean, look. So I don't earn enough money, our insurance goes up by like $2,000 a month next year. I got a one cent residual check today, okay? That's not gonna cut it. Why don't you call your friend Scott, see if you can do some extra work or something? Like background acting, being an extra? <laughs> I can't be an extra, no way. Why not? It goes towards insurance and who knows? You might meet someone on a show and get you a speaking role or something. Never know. Hmm. Sure, buddy. Extra work pays 170 for eight. 170 for eight hours? That's like 15, 16, 21, 25 an hour. Okay, do I have to be there the whole time? Uh, yeah, I mean, depending, but uh, you know, again, it's, a, it's an easy gig, so just give the office a call, peas and carrots. What's peas and carrots? Peas and carrots, it's, it's what extras mount to each other to make it look like they're talking in a scene, so. Exactly. Great job. You're a natural. Hit me on that three. So that's when I decided to say, F this, I'm going to go be an extra. So Scott pulled some strings and he got me a little part as an extra on the TV show Mom starring Anna Faris and Allison Janney. I had a 5.30 call time. It's pouring rain and I just stepped in a puddle. Okay, so I've got a bunch of TV credits, right? So my guess is that the executive producer is gonna recognize me from my past and just bump me up for a few lines on the show. Is this my, uh, this my trailer over here? Is this my trailer right here? No, I don't, I don't, have, I don't have a trailer. Okay. Cut. These are all the stages where they shot like the comedy classics of our time. I'm talking Fletch over here on stage 24, uh, Ghostbusters was shot on 25, and then the granddaddy of them all, stage 20, Two Broke Girls. Now one thing that's totally awesome about being an extra are the snacks. I mean, I managed to have about nine donuts, took three home with me, three bags of Doritos, a handful of raisins, half a Twix bar, four bagels, a couple of beef sticks, and you know I'm taking this cream cheese. Right now I'm standing in front of the Friends stage where Matthew Perry did a ton of blow in the parking lot back in the 90s. All right, here comes one of those uh, Warner Brothers studio cart tours. Let's see if anyone recognizes me. Do you guys recognize me? Nope. Okay, it's almost time for my scene. Here we go. Action. 
Peas and carrots. 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 Cut. Cut, cut, cut. You, the extra guy. What are you doing, that stupid peas and carrots thing? Yes, sir. Stop it. Now. Yes, sir. Or you're out of here. I'm sorry. And lose a man bun, okay? When all was said and done, I had spent eight hours on a set and got paid $170. So now I was only $17,520 away from earning my insurance. Which means I only have to do about, uh, six, seventy, uh, roughly 103 more days of extra work this year. Hi, Zach. Irv Orenberg, your agent here. Bad news, they went in a different direction for the Pickle Show, but they want to see you for this new reality show about an Asian Hooters. It's called Shabu Shaboobs. Big audition tomorrow. Break a leg, buddy. Mm -hmm.